Family pet mauled to death, and it happened right in front of a nine-year-old girl who tried to rescue her little dog. Fox San Antonio's Darian Trotter reports tonight. He died instantly. I mean, he wasn't breathing when I got there. Monica signs yeah. is full of so pain and anger. Then animal control says, well, we have 10 other cases, so I'll let you know when I can. And I'm like, that's that's wrong. Her Yorkie Terrier mix, Chico, has been part of the family for 12 years. That was until Monday. That's when she says he was viciously attacked by three of her neighbor's dogs. Her nine-year-old daughter was walking Chico on a leash when a neighbor says she saw the little girl try, but she couldn't stop the attack. I just hear her go, Mom, Mom, they hurt him, Mom, I think he's dead, Mom, help! And I, like, ran over and I picked her up and I just said, are you okay, are you okay? And I held her really tight. As for Chico, the dog that is part of so many fond memories. I look at him and he, he's dead. He's laying on the ground, blood everywhere. But she didn't want to give up. She rushed her fur baby to a nearby animal hospital, hoping they could save him. His tongue was already coming out of his mouth. He was already stiff. I had blood all over me and he was dead. I mean, he was dead on the sidewalk. This is video recorded at the hospital that she will now cherish forever. Video taken before the dog was cremated. You were always so loyal. You protected me. We loved playing with you. You were such a high jumper. You're such a good dog. I'm so glad they didn't hurt my daughter, but they can do it again. In a statement, the mayor says we take these matters seriously and took proper action as permitted by law. He went on to explain the dog was not quarantined because a person was not hurt during the attack. It says in the Holotus Code that a vicious dog needs to be put down, and a vicious dog is someone that attacks unprovoked, and they killed. This dog deserves to be put away, out of my neighborhood, away from other children. And the dog's owner was given a citation Wednesday. It will now be up to a judge to decide what happens next. Meantime, Signs plans to at least ask for partial payment for her vet bills, totaling more than $800. We're live in Holotus, Darian Trotter, Fox News at 9.